Good morning, YouTube. Free Swimmer here, Sunday morning. Early. I just wanted to do a feeding video. They get the. Those are like three millimeter. <clears throat> the big fella extremes, and then I've got a mixture of large sinking high carry pellets, and then we got some minis in there, and then the super bite. <clears throat> I there's a mix in the container, and then the extremes by itself. And every morning they're all light comes on about 15 or 20 minutes later they know it's about time put this down I need a little bit of a lift yeah I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna get them feed them up and then Stand on the chair. A little scooper. Give them about three quarters of a scoop of each. Lots of little ones, big ones drop. Chuck seems to prefer the extreme. smaller parrot it has a, a noticeably less appetite than the bigger one that's growing so much faster. It may have something to do with it, a combination of it. Being a female, I think that might be a female, the other one might be a male. I got those two two of those three blue a car all three actually you got it that one is just growing like crazy, the one coming towards us. It is outgrowing everything. That is an amazingly fast. He's a pig. I think that's what it is. I'll stand back. And... Seems like during feeding they all put their differences aside for the most part and just go to eating and then go back to picking at each other after that. There's definitely a lot less picking going on in a South American tank than there was in the Mbuna tank though. <clears throat> all day long Mbuna did nothing but peck and nip and chase. Big fat flag. The angelfish seems to want to protect the bubbles through it all, though. The guardian of the bubbles. I know this side here is where the food generally always goes. Lots of the little ones float all over the place. I 
and now they will nibble and peck at anything available for the next hour or two. Well, there you have it. The South Americans having breakfast at Free Swimmer's house. Later.